I didn't really dress up for like Halloween specifically until I was an adult when I dressed for the first time as a partially eaten gingerbread man. <laughs> Two years after that, I dressed as the leg lamp from a Christmas story. <laughs> Check out these details. Look at the fishnet stockings, the pump. It's like a functioning lamp inside of the skirt. The next year I did a flamingo, but it's not what you think. Look at it more carefully. Like that is my foot right there. Like my face is right here. I also took it to the zoo. Actual flamingos didn't notice me at all, but this child, <laughs> so much more interested in me than actual flamingos. I dressed as a foosball player uh, the year after that. Uh, then I dressed after that as an IHOP sign. Wait for it. Yeah, it's a pun. That's uh, Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. I did a, a Dairy Queen blizzard. Oh, this is not at, uh, at Halloween, but actually it's at Christmas. This is just on the promenade, like right there. Then this is Halloween 2017. Uh, this is 2018. I dress as a genie, obviously from Aladdin. And then this is my tiny dog, Mushu. He's a Pekingese who also dressed, uh, he dressed as a boo, a little, a little monkey. Uh, yeah, so he participates a lot. He was actually also a part of the Christmas tree. He's dressed as a dog Santa along with my Christmas tree. But my favorite part of this uh, picture actually are these two dudes here who are just not phased at all. They're like, oh yeah, just, just a Christmas tree walking a dog. <laughs> The funny thing though was there was a news crew and they were like, hey, can we interview you? Because it was a slow news day on Christmas. And I was like, sure, but I can't take this costume off. And they were like, no problem. We will just interview you <laughs> in the costume. I love how this lady, <laughs> but I just love like how seriously she's taking her job. She's like, I went to journalism school, I am a legit news lady, and I am holding a microphone inside the branches of a Christmas tree. Uh, this is just uh, this past year. So those are my Halloween costumes. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. Tape mannequin of myself. This allows Kaylin to have a molding of my body without me having to go in person and have him measure me. We'll cut this off now. We will now mail this to Kaylin. He will reconstruct it in his workshop and he will have a perfect replica of my shape to build a costume around. Nothing weird at all. Here. So here we go, I just got the finished costume in the mail from Kaylin. Look, fragile. I think it's Italian. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? Here's the shoe apparatus. Got like a shoe built in and then it's like a little stilt, so I'll be high.